Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the 30th, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is actually Wednesday, the 30th of January. And this is Abby's three snoodle puppies. These guys are sold. They're going in Tuesday for their spay and neuters. And then they go home. I think they all go home next week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so Vanessa did some weights for me this morning. We tried to do this inside and it was insane. So we decided to bring them out here on the patio and do them out here on the patio. Uh, the, I can't tell you what color collars you are. Okay. The one that I always call the big golden retriever right by the post. He is 12 pounds, 1.5. The dark face puppy, uh, which has got the green collar, is nine pounds, 10.5. And the neon pink collar, which is the girl, or playing a ring around the rosy, she is eight pounds, five. So these guys are getting, <laughs> they love the dumb posts. They're going round and round and round the post. Um, activity level is super high with these guys. So you have got to wear the energy level out. They've not been outside to play for a while. And we may leave them out here on the patio for about an hour or so. They love this post. This is a great ring around the rosy thing, I guess. So they are current on everything they can have. They are totally in the house with us and have been since they were about six to six and a half weeks old. I'm ready for them to get out of my house. <laughs> you can tell with the three of them. Oh my golly. Uh, one of them was playing in the water in the water bowl before I came out to get them this morning or came up in the garage to get them. We've been downstairs doing videos this morning and we thought we'd do them downstairs. Well, I sit down in the cage with him for about three minutes and I said, that's nuts. Let's go get a kennel. We're doing this outside. Uh, you are going to absolutely want to wear the energy level off on these guys. Uh, they are totally capable to go out in the snow. They are just, oh my gosh, super busy. It's too bad there's not more poles down through the kennel. They could go through there and uh, just keep playing ring around the rosy. I should have put them around the porch swing and they would have had a lot better place to play that way. Um... They are super friendly, super outgoing. They are just busier than busy. I tried to keep them out of the mud, but it looks like they're going to find the edge of the patio. And oh, there we found the dirt. Let's eat the dirt. Get out of the dirt. <laughs> you are such a snot. He says, oh, I think I could get the dirt. We were going to put them in the grass out here in the front of the house, but I thought there's no way, not with the, this muddy and uh, we're supposed to have more rain. Our creek is way up. So we're having to go through it with the big tractor to even get across. And I thought I didn't want them covered with dirt. So we have been working on no bark, no bite, no lick. Uh, the no barking is working great. The no, um, the no biting, you're gonna have a tougher time with that. They're all fine separately, but when I sit down to play with them together, I was going to be their chew toy. And with the three of them, they get each other, they feed on each other's energy. So the energy level was out the roof. And I thought, nope, I'm out of here. So you are going to really want to crack down on them and not let them use their mouth on your hands or arms. Um, if you have little kids that are not old enough to teach this dog no bite, you're going to want to be um, run interference and teach the puppy that it can't. That's it. Chew on that concrete block. That's good. That's a good chew toy. You can't hurt that. Says, oh, what did she find over here that I have to try? This is so funny. I cannot believe they're playing around this pole. I thought the pole would be in the way, but I guess I'm glad I put it there. Our wind is just picking up terribly. You can probably hear my wind chimes. It's shooting down. Even the porch swing is, is starting to bounce. Those blocks beside the porch swing, that was sitting on the porch swing a week and a half ago before we had those massive winds go through and it moved it completely off the porch swing. And that porch swing is a big, heavy, massive structure. I cannot believe it's all my husband and I can do to put it back on the stones and it's never moved it. The other one didn't move off the stones, but I'll tell you what, the wind coming down that side of the house right now, that's kind of why I'm standing over 
with the protection of the house on my side to shoot this. Look at this, found the dirt, we're gonna dig the dirt. I don't, these are like groundhogs. Hey, hey, quit. Look at the dirty faces. Okay, I gotta go move this. All right, guys, we're not eating dirt. We're not gonna play in the dirt. There you go. No dirt, no, no dirt. He'd go, oh no, where did the dirt go? She moved it. He says, here, I'll move it back. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are so ornery. He'll have it moved back here in a minute. Not on purpose, but they're gonna bang it enough that they're gonna move it back. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you? Uh, rules, boundaries, limitations are gonna be your best friend. You're gonna wanna make sure that you, um, when you're not playing with them, lock them up because, or lock him or her up because they're gonna get into anything and everything in your house they can tear up, especially at this age. So this is actually two X pins and maybe a half of another one. Um, an X pin consists of eight panels and I'm not sure how many panels I've got out here, but I know it was heavy to carry down. So I think I am much bigger than uh, just two of them. So it makes a great play yard for them. It, even though that's not great big, they can run their legs off. Um, if it wasn't so snowy and windy, I would probably turn them loose when I'm finished and just run them around the yard for a while to help wear this energy off. Oh, they're gonna play tug of war. I was hoping they would find something to play with to keep them busy and let you be able to watch them for a little bit. Um, they're going in on Tuesday, as I said, for spay and neuter, then they'll be ready to go home. And um, if you have not received your videos, I don't know why I had so much trouble getting them to go through the mail this time, or the emails, but if you have not received the list of videos that I send everybody, please let me know. Uh, shoot me a text, send me your email, and say, hey, I did not get my videos. Also, I send out a uh, an email <laughs> that has all their vitamin information on it too that they've been on. Uh, we do do a full two year guarantee on these puppies. Uh, genetic guarantee as long as you continue your vitamins. And you don't have to let me know if you do it. The company actually sends me a printout. So I know uh, I get that monthly. And that way I know who's done them and who hasn't. If you don't do it uh, and use your vitamins, we still do a full one year guarantee whether you use your vitamins or not. So that's entirely up to your family. And like I said, you don't have to let me know. The company will. Um, they're used to a bath every week. They're used to us doing their toenails, plucking their ears. So the day you pick up your puppy, you're gonna have a clean bath. They'll have uh, maybe a fresh, fresh up on their hygiene clip, fresh up on their eyes to keep the hair out of their eyes. And, um, that way too they don't tear unless the hair this is like ring around the rosy wear this energy i'm leaving them out here for a while we'll come down when they get cold and bring them in i think we're about 38 today oh crash and burn but um they need to wear this energy off this is what they do in their kennel people so i have them in a five by ten kennel in the up in the garage you can imagine what that what that kennel looks like by the end of the day if oh here we're gonna stalk her here he goes Check. Boom. Um, if it's not the papers they're tearing up, it's the water bowl they're in. So this is a great, great break for them. Um, fun place to play. I know they can't get out of here. They're safe down here. So they're going to stay down here for a while. It'll be good for them. Cold doesn't bother them. And... Uh, They've got a plenty of coat on. If you're gonna cut that coat off of them and you live in a cold zone, please think about it. Um, they actually, God put enough coat on them to last them through the winter. They can play out here for a good hour. And in the snow, the only thing that's gonna turn them off is they're gonna pack snow in between their pads and then their feet start to hurt. And then they want out of that snow because you can imagine going out barefoot with no socks on in snow. That's ex a little bit similar to what they're doing, except their pads are tougher, like the skin on your heels. But still, it eventually, it's going to make them to where they can't you know, go outside and stay very long. So 
Make sure you clean their pads off, get the ice out of them when they come in. If you see them starting to slow down and hold their feet up and get them out of the cold. Um, you know, it's the same with the heat in the summer. If you're going on a walk somewhere on the blacktop and you can't take your shoes off and walk on that blacktop, they can't play and walk anymore on that blacktop either. So be kind to the dog, think of their feet. If you're gonna put ice melt down and it's not dog friendly, please wipe their feet off with a wet cloth when you get back to the house. Otherwise, they're gonna lick all that salt off that has the chemicals in it and it's not good for them. So the dog friendly salt works great. These guys are just funnier than all get out. So I hope you've enjoyed their videos. They've been a fun group. Abby is now in her new home. My secretary actually took her to her house because she raises standard poodles and they're gonna do a litter with Abby. And they have five kids. So Abby is already the hit of the kids. They've got one other black poodle I gave them about two and a half, three years ago. And uh, they live on a farm. So Abby's got tons of room to run and five kids from about eight years old to senior in high school. So she went to a great home. But no more big pups like this. I'm old enough that I am downsizing what I breed. So after this spring, everything will be 30 pounds and below. And we are adding some toy schnauzers uh, into our group and a couple toy poodles. So we're going to do some toy schnoodles come Christmas time next year. So have a good one. I hope you've enjoyed their videos. And if you have any questions before you come, please give me a call. If you are picking up uh, at the airport or having a flight nanny bring it to you, give me a call. I'll be glad to answer anything I can for you. I haven't checked how all you guys are going home yet. So have a good one and enjoy. Hopefully your good weather if you live in a warm zone. Have a great new year. Stay safe. God bless. Talk to you later.